Hello everyone, in this episode I'm going to talk about how you can add remember me option on the login page for Place FF Assembly application. So when I say I want to add remember me option on the login page, that means when user is logging in into the system and if they select this option, they don't have to re-log in next time they visit the application. Even if it's external login like Twitter, Facebook or Google, even if they restart the machine and visit the application, they don't have to re-log in again. The application should check the cookies in the browser and re-log in the user automatically next time they visit the application. This was actually a suggestion posted in the YouTube comments and I really appreciate such good suggestions. And honestly, I'm kind of running out of ideas for Blazing Chat. So if you want me to implement something for Blazing Chat, please post that in the comment section below. I'll try to implement that in the application. With that, let's check how the demo is set up. Let me first check if the application is running or not. Application is running. I'm going to go to my Blazing Chat application. The code of this application is on GitHub. You can find the link of this application in the video description below. So I have added this checkbox, which is a Radson switch. And what I want to do is if I select this option and log in into the system and close my browser or restart my machine, I want this user to be logged in into the system. Currently, if I select this option and click on login, I do get logged in into the system. But if I close the browser, open the browser again, and try to visit my application again, then you can see that it's asking me to re-log in into the system. And I don't want that. Once I select this option and log in, I want to stay logged in into the system. So let's take a look at our code. For that, I'm going to go to my login page. And here I have added this rats and switch, which is mapped to my login view, which is remember me property and it's a boolean property if i hover over it it's loading it's not showing but that's okay let's go to our view model if i go to my login view model here you can see that i have this boolean property and that's what's mapped on my login component if i go to my code section here for the component i am calling login view model and I'm calling this login method which is actually calling a web API if I go to my login view model it's calling a web API which is login user and that will help us login into the system so let's check that controller if I go to my server project and open the controller here I have this login method, which takes the user, it checks if the user is there in the database or not. I'm using Entity Framework Core for that. And if the user is there in the system, then I'm creating claims, claims identity, claims principle. And that's what we pass when we sign in the user into the system. And when you call this HTTP context sign in async method, it takes two parameters. One is claims principle, which we just created from their email address and user ID. And the second parameter is authentication properties. And to get that, I'm calling a method, which is get authentication properties. Let's go to its definition. It's actually setting some properties which are authentication properties and returning that object back and here you can see that i have set is persistent property to false and that's the reason why the browser is not maintaining the cookies and it's not relogging the user when you visit the application so this is something that i want to map with the checkbox the switch that we added this rats and switch which is remember me option on the login view model that's something that i want to map with this option so that when you log in into the system and select that option you don't have to re-log in into the system so let's try to accept a parameter here which is going to be is persistent i'm gonna make this small and then i'm gonna map this to this option 
This is going to throw errors in our controller. So let's set a default value to false. And if we want to pass this option, then we can pass this option from Web API. So let's try to do that for the Web API, which is getting called here. So this is the Web API, which gets called whenever we log in into the system. So here I'm going to get that is persistent parameter from the client. And then that's what I'm going to pass to my get authentication properties here. So I'm going to grab this and pass it into my get authentication properties. So whatever we get from the client will be passed to my authentication properties. And that's what will be set to is persistent property, which is an authentication property. Okay. So let's try to pass that from a login view model. So whenever I click on login button, whenever I click on login button, I'm calling this login view model, which is a login user method. And this is where we would like to pass that rats and switch property, rats and switch value, so that we could remember the user if we want them. So let's try to pass that property here. I'm going to set that property as this dot remember me. So the property is in view model. That's the reason why I used this dot remember me. And this is something that we don't want to store in the database. It doesn't really make sense to store this in the database. So I'm going to just pass this and receive that uh, on the web API in order to figure out if we really want to remember this user or not. Let's rerun this and see if that works or not. So I'm going to rerun my application here and go to my application. Now, if I don't select remember me and log in into the system, I get logged in into the system. I'm going to close my browser, open the browser again, go to the application. You can see that I'm not logged in into the system because I did not select the checkbox. But now I'm going to select the checkbox, which will be true. And I'm going to log in into the system. I get logged in into the system. I'm going to close the browser. Imagine I restarted my machine too. And then I'm going to go to my application. And then you can see that I get navigated to the profile page instead of asking me to re-log in again. I do have that cookie which gets stored. I'm going to go to my application here. And you can see that the cookie for my application is still stored in my browser. And that's the reason why I get logged in into the system without actually putting in user ID and password. One thing that I wanted to show you on login page, I did check if the user is authenticated or not by using this cascading property. So if the user is logged in, then I'm navigating them to the profile page instead of asking them to re-log in again. They do have the cookie in the browser. They don't have to stay on the login page when they visit the application. If they're authenticated, they can navigate to the profile page. And same thing you can do with the external logins too. Let's try to do that with Twitter. So currently, if I select this option and log in with my Twitter account and then close the browser, and open the browser again and try to visit my application. You can see that it doesn't remember me. It doesn't remember my Twitter account. You have to pass that parameter when you actually log in with Twitter in order to maintain that cookie. So let's try to do that in our application. For that, I'm going to go to my user controller here again. And here, whenever you click on, actually, I'm going to go to my login page here. On login component, whenever you click on Twitter authentication, it actually navigates to a web API, which is Twitter sign in, and it's set to reload the application, forcefully reload the application so that you can get the redirect URI and everything. Um, so here we should pass that parameter so that we could remember, we could save the cookie forever in order to keep the user logged in when they visit the application again. So let's try to get that 
in this web API. For that, I'm going to say boolean is persistent, and that's what I would like to pass up here. And I'm going to go back to my login page, and here I'm going to get that as a parameter, and that's actually going to be login view model dot remember me option so that whenever you select that option that will be sent to web api whenever you're trying to log in with twitter let's try to run this and see if that works or not and then i can do the same thing offline for my facebook and google authentication too i'm gonna go back to my application and here I'm going to select remember me option and then log in with Twitter. I get logged in with Twitter. I'm gonna close the browser and then try to go to my application. You can see that I get navigated to my account instead of asking me to re-log in into the system. So that's how easy it is to set the is persistent property for your authentication properties and remember the user and not asking them to re-log in again. There is one more thing that I wanted to show you in the application that I did is I created this create an account page too where you can create an account and then you can log in into the system or you can use John Smith's user ID and password which I've kept on the login page so that you can log in into the system. If you want to get the source code, like I mentioned, you can literally Google Blazing Chat and it will take you to the GitHub repo for that. Please check that out. The link is in the video description below. If you have any questions, you can ask those questions in the comment section below, or you can reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next time. Bye.